Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Quest SMP and last episode we mentioned that we were going to try and get an upgrade for our armour and our tools by going to the nether and trying to find some netherite so I have prepared some materials in here I have quite a few stacks of TNT some fire resistance potions um, I think we'll just go ahead and jump straight into the nether now and see what we can get Alright, that's the first stack of TNT all placed. Let us light it. Hopefully, we have got some fire resistance still remaining, and hopefully, we can get far enough away from this. And there it goes. Yeah, it's carrying on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, and I see a bit of ancient debris already. Nice. So, I'm going to continue to do this, and I'll give you an update when I am finished. Oh, and we have made it back, and there is the 40 ancient debris that we were after. I actually used up all 7 stacks, or just over 7 stacks of TNT to get that. Um, the first few stacks I was getting quite a lot, like 11 or 12 pieces. After that though, it slowed down and each stack was only getting me around 1 or 2 pieces of um, ancient debris. So yeah, at the very end I ended up with 39, and I knew I needed 40 from kind of calculate calculated it beforehand um, and I had 39 and I was like had no TNT left and I thought I was going to have to go digging but as I was walking back through one of the tunnels I noticed a, a piece just sitting up in the ceiling that I had missed so that was quite lucky there that we managed to get exactly the number that we were looking for <laughs> uh, but yeah the next problem I have is that I don't have any gold to actually combine the scraps with um, so I'll need to go and get some of that then we can finally upgrade our armour and tools. Alright, so let me do that and I'll be right back. Just like that, we have the gold now, as well as the netherite scraps. So let us go and craft ourselves some ingots. There we go, awesome. And let us start going. So there we go, our first netherite item. Legs, boots, and our helmet. Here we go, achievement, cover me in debris. Awesome. Let's put this all back on and have a look. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like the nose piece is a lot more obstructive <laughs> on my face, but it does look pretty cool. Uh, so you will see behind me um, that I have got the chests, these chests and things set up with some materials as I want to build our building around here as this is going to be our villager trading hall as we already got these guys in place in this little dirt house at the moment so we're going to fill in this area here with a building for those guys and I think we will do that in a time lapse so yeah let us just jump right into that now And we're back and this is what we've got so far as you saw in the time lapse. I've went around and added in some little bits of foliage and flower pots and things. I also completed this side as well. Uh, 
thing is we don't yet have an interior so I will need to get working on that just now probably won't do that in a time lapse um, I'll just work on it off camera I might do a little bit of updates here and there off camera uh, on camera as well sorry I do need to go and get some materials I do think I want some spruce wood and oak wood to do up the interior I know most of these buildings around this area I don't have interiors in and they're just kind of plain and sitting with chests but obviously this is going to be a villager trading hall so these guys are going to need little pods and things to live in and I'm going to have to use this quite a lot to go in and trade with them. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to give an update since we completed this just after that time lapse there. I do have a rough idea how I want to lay out the inside of this. It's quite a big room so there should be plenty of space for all the villagers that we have. I think there has 13 in there at the moment. Um, and that is plenty for us just now. We probably want around maybe 16 in here um, in total once we are finished. But let me go and gather resources and we'll start work on this. And then we will see an update. I've done a little bit of the interior uh, if we take a look. So I've got the floor in. got some of the walls in here. And the villagers are now in their little pods. I still need to bring in all of the workstations but hopefully that will go smoothly when I put it down hopefully the guy in front of it picks it up because otherwise that will be a little bit of a pain trying to get all these guys in here was a pain in itself uh, but yeah I'll need to add in a roof to these areas here and um, I've got a little bit back here of space on each side for maintenance and if we want to get a zombie in there to infect them in the future um, so I'll let me do that, I'll get the roofs all done, or the ceilings I should say, um, and add in some more details in here to make it look a little bit better. The interior is now all complete, uh, if we take a look, here we go. So I've got some green around, I've got some extra storage here in case we get overflow of emeralds or melons and pumpkins or whatever that we are trading for with these guys. Um, just use this big open wall for our painting here, framed in with trapdoors. Got some hoppers for lighting, well, as the, the base of the lights there for the lanterns. A little bit of a rug or carpet here in the middle. Um, I had to put <laughs> um, crafting benches somewhere, so they're there. And then we have the guys with this little bit of an archway roof. And we still have our maintenance areas. Probably not going to do much back here, probably just put a floor in. Um, and leave it as is. Um, so close them off. And that is us. We have our trading hall. And I'm not so sure if I've shown this on camera. Uh, I built up the base of this here. Which is our villager breeder. And farm area. I've shut it off. I've closed off the guy at the top. So he can't throw down carrots anymore. But uh, I've just put this base in it. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. Uh, but it's just something there. And I do need to fill in all of this area as well. The workstations are now all in place. I have farmers on this side. I have six of them. And mason. That's what they're called, yeah. Masons on this side. Um, and I have four empty spaces. Well, this little guy here. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, but this is good because we can trade with these guys to get... Not all of them are fully traded up yet. So golden carrots. And just to get emeralds, so and again I need to trade with all of these to eventually get some quartz trades and the brick ones are pretty useful as well. Now with that all out of the way, the next thing I want to focus on is our piglin trading hall, um, if you can call it a hall. <laughs> if you remember a few episodes ago we set up a little piglin trading area and the way I get to it is all over the place, I fly over an area, I go through a tunnel, then I go up and around and down and... Oh, hello sir. Um, and it's, it's pretty much takes me two or three times as long as it should to get there, so... I decided I would speed that process up and I have finally dug a tunnel. So it's all the way down here. Then we take a left and I think it's around 200 blocks that way. Um, so that's great, we've got a tunnel and it's more of a straight line now, but I may as well make use of a new feature in 116. And if I do this, you may notice I have Soul Speed 3 that I actually got from the Piglin Trades. 
So I've added that onto my boots and I want to line this tunnel with some soul sand and some soul soil. That was a sentence, <laughs> it's difficult to say. But yeah, I want to line it with those blocks so I can go super fast with the new feature. And it's just a little fun way I can get to and from the trading hall. Uh, I need to go get some of that stuff though because I don't think I have enough. I'm going to need probably around, it's like, like 400, maybe another... Yeah, probably around five or six hundred blocks for the floors. Then I probably need to design something for the walls and the roof because I can't just leave a nether rack. That would be pretty dull. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me have a think. Well, getting all that soul sand and soul soil was pretty quick. I thought it was going to take forever. But <laughs> we got all of this. And about... Three minutes. <laughs> I just went to Soul Sand Valley and yeah, went crazy with the shovel. So now, oh, oh, <laughs> my Elytra saved me there. I just got it engaged in time there. Oof, a little bit of a heart attack moment. But yeah, I just need to dig out this tunnel now. <laughs> oh, wish me luck. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's all done and it's so actually pretty fast. Um, I'd done a mixture of the soul soil and soul sand just to give it a little bit of texture and yeah it was pretty fun to run <laughs> like this and I'm going to crash into the wall in a minute. Uh, so yeah I just need to get a design for the walls here, not really sure yet on what blocks I'm going to use for that as it is quite a long way so that is quite a lot of blocks. Might use a mixture of this basalt. Maybe even some nether, um, nether brick, sorry. Uh, possible blackstone, not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it finished this episode, but I'll maybe get a start even just till the first corner there and we can see how that looks. This is what I have so far for the tunnel. We've got some basalt, just using the underside, and blackstone with some soul lanterns here and a little chisel blackstone. Nothing too crazy of a design, nothing complicated. Um, I do need to gather up quite a lot of blackstone and quite a lot of basalt. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a long tunnel. This way is probably about halfway to here. Then it's like 230 blocks until we hit the stairs down to the piglin trading. So there will be a lot of material gathering for this, probably won't get this finished anytime soon, maybe a few days before I get this completed, but I think that is going to do it for today, we probably run out of time I think for the episode, so I will wrap things up and get to continue working to get this completed. So as always, thank you very much for watching, please if you could leave a like a comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I will be pushing out some more tutorial style videos coming in the future um, as well as quest videos so stay tuned for that and as always have a good day bye bye